Today's advent calendar is the 50 TP prototype. Now this is going for 9,900 gold or around about 30 pounds. Um, is it really worth it? I would say no because it's quite expensive for what it is but it is a nice heavy tank. However you do have weak spots here where you'll just get shot all the time. This bit sticking out here is a nightmare to try and deal with. You can't side scrape properly because as you side scrape this bit here becomes a weak spot where the kind of it's like a turret ring almost um, but not quite. I oh, know I guess it is. You do have cupolas and the exact same thing is for the other side. It is completely symmetrical and of course you do have that kind of pike nose design. So even when you come around a corner like this, they can just pen you. Yeah, it's kind of a bit of an issue. However, you do get, is it minus 10? Yes, minus 10 degrees of gun depression. Uh, albeit that is over the side here and over the side here. Um, I'm not too sure about the back. I've just looked it up. It is minus 10 over the sides and also obviously this side and kind of as soon as you hit the middle bit here and also the rear, it's just minus like four, or minus six or something like that. Um, it's not very good. So yeah, if you're going to be uh, kind of on ridge lines, you're going to have to go like this kind of angle and then aim down. Um, and then if they do hit your tracks, I mean, some of it might just go straight through and then ricochet off. So you could, you know, be a ridgeline kind of dominant tank, but I just think it's too awkward to play. Not to mention that the gun is nice, but it's not super nice. So you do have a derpy kind of gun with not great DPM. It's just, if you're going to play a tank that's, this is like a defender, but with gun depression almost, because it does have the 440 alpha, but there's so many better kind of heavy tanks now in the game. This was really nice when it first came out. But for 10,000 gold, I can't recommend someone getting this. So what equipment should you put on it if you do decide to get it and you're a tank collector and stuff like that? Um, well, I mean, I guess you just go the standard vents, ram a V-stab. You get 420 meters view range without food and with food, you'll get 440. So it's not too bad. Um, and obviously you can use the field mod, so that'll bump it up a little bit as well. Um, yeah. It's kind of a bit of a weird one because it, you kind of need food to make it be a good all-round tank and you can also choose the firepower slot which is kind of nice or you could get your gun rammer to be a little bit more effective or alternatively you can make your stability be a little bit more effective as well but you need food to kind of give it any chance realistically because 11 seconds reload yeah and the premium rounds aren't even that much better. Like 245 for premium rounds. And remember, this is heavy tank matchmaking. This is some of the most brutal matchmaking in the game at the moment. Tier 8s that will see tier 10s and get put in the heavy roll are just basically cannon fodder for the tier 10s. There are very few heavy tanks that I actually feel comfortable kind of suggesting to people. Because the way it is... When you meet those tier 9s and 10s, you just get ripped apart most of the time. I mean, Patriot is nice, but even then, like, when that sees tier 10, if you're sitting there in, in front of a crayon, there's nothing you can do to it, and it will just laugh at you. Alternatively, you could go and get, you know, a little bit more view range. Um, I wouldn't recommend you drop the V-stab on this thing. Um, just, no, it's just not really going to be uh, feasible, honestly. Even with, wow, even with a... Um, optics on this tank it's only two 463 meters and you get 0.36 accuracy yeah i don't know it's it's kind of weird in all honesty i don't know i don't think it's really worth it i think that even like the lover is better than that in all honesty because even though the lover is slow it has i would say much more reliable armor comparison to the 50 tp and it has a better overall package. Like the view range is nice. You don't need to use food on it. You have a massive amount of shells. And then you can also, I mean, even the Centurion uh, Carnarvon Action 10 is nice. I mean, it doesn't get as much view range as the 50 TP, but it's good. Um, yeah, I don't know. There is, there's just so many nicer kind of heavy tanks. Like the E75 TS, that's 
actually better than the uh, 50TP. Uh, Renegade's better. I mean, the Liberté is better, honestly. Like, in my opinion, the 50TP was really, really good when it first came out. But now it just... I don't know, it just lacks the pen. And lacks kind of the flexibility of it. That kind of frontal bit there is going to annoy you so much. When you just try and go over a ridge line or something and you need to angle your tank down to the right or to the left. It's so weird. So my opinion is to skip this, but if you wanted it, then I would just suggest, you know, either Optics, Rammer, V-Stab, or Vent from a V-Stab. That's kind of the default. Hopefully you enjoyed, and I'll see you all tomorrow for the next one.